and you're also going to have something called an LFO. So let's first talk about the LFO. LFO stands for Low Frequency Oscillator. If you notice down here, we have a section on our subtractor synth. You'll see LFO, and you're going to see rate, and you're going to see amount. Uh, you're also going to see the different waveforms of the LFO, and you're also going to see the destination of where I can send that LFO. So this is a subsonic oscillator. It's the exact same type of oscillator as, say, oscillator 1 and 2, which is in the human range of hearing. Our LFO, our low frequency oscillator, generates these waveforms that are well below what we can hear, but we can use those waveforms. We can send that energy, that information, that electricity to any of the three circuits. So I can send this LFO to, say, my oscillator. Right now, it's already set up to go to oscillator 1 and 2 via my routing matrix. So I'm going to hit a key on my keyboard, and we're not going to hear anything at first. What I'm going to do is increase the amount. The amount is how much of that LFO, or it's also referred to as depth, how, how deep is that being sent to? How loud? What's the amplitude of that LFO that's being sent to the oscillators? The rate is the frequency of the oscillator. So the amount is the depth, how loud is that, how much of that information is getting to the destination, and the rate is, I'm basically just changing the pitch of my LFO. So I'm going to increase the rate. So there's our LFO being routed to pitch. So if we modulate our pitch, we're in essence causing what we call a vibrato, we're causing the pitch to oscillate. What I'm going to do is route this to, say, my filter frequency. So I can select that there. So now my LFO, instead of going to my oscillator section, is now going to go to my filter section. I'm going to bring this down a little bit so we can actually hear it. And uh, this will automate the filters. This is what we call a wah-wah effect. Think about a wah-wah pedal. It's sort of your auto wah. And lastly, we have the amplifier section. You'll notice LFO1 on my subtractor doesn't have an amplifier destination, but it does with LFO2. So I'm going to turn down the amount on LFO1 and bring up the amount on LFO2 and route it to the amplifier. This is what we call a tremolo effect. So there you can really hear that sound. 